Good. Good. This is John from John Street. I'm here with second year pitcher, Chicago Bandits, Lacey Waldrop. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You're always good. You're always smiling. <laughs> I try to. It's been a little bit of a struggle lately since oh. we've been struggling a little bit, but it's always, always a positive. Playing softball has well, you know, that goes all the way back to your college days. I did a little research. Well, first of all, you're Florida State. You're the first Florida State along to play in the pros, right? First one to get drafted. First we had a couple play before, yeah. Okay. Now, I saw a picture of you when you were in college, I think it was when you were in college, hugging a billboard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was um, the year before that. I was the National Player of the Year in college. So my senior year, we played a tournament in Palm Springs, and they put me on the billboard for that tournament. How was that seeing yourself on a billboard? Obviously, you liked it. It was yeah. it was kind of weird, but it was really cool because my teammates actually like picked me up so I could climb up onto the billboard. So which that's was pretty how awesome. It. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's the secret. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, when you were in college, you, you, I was reading an article that said that there was like a moment when you were kind of you took everything a little seriously, and then and then you started kind of lighting up a little bit. Mm -hmm. How did that develop? Um, it was actually, it's really through my faith, and we just had FCA actually, but um, it was just something, a uh, verse that really stuck out to me, Joshua 1 9, do not be afraid or discouraged, for he is with you wherever you go. And um, once I started taking that mentality, I just went out and was like, there's nothing to be afraid of, just have fun for pitching and tag the zone and just kind of do your job, and there's no reason to worry. So you're, you're a really good example of you could actually, because you're a fierce competitor, I know that. So you can actually smile and have fun out there and be better. Yeah, you definitely can. I think everyone does it a little differently. There's people that are really serious and that's how they show their competitiveness. But, I mean, I can smile on the mound and then know, like, I still am going to beat you. I like that. <laughs> now, was there anything in your uh, first season that you learned that you're taking into the second season, you know, in the pros? Um, and I think I'm still learning it. Just continue to be yourself and do the things that you do well. Um, I think sometimes people think they need to reinvent themselves because the league is so good, but I think once you get outside of what you're good at, then you start to struggle and you need to go with kind of your gut, which what has been working for you your whole life or your whole college career, career pitching, hitting, whatever it may be, and stick to it and believe in it and trust it. And you're from Virginia, mm -hmm. but you did go to, you went to school at Florida State. Yes. When you went, did you get to pitch um, down uh, against the Rebellion down there? Yes, I have. Uh, when we were in Pennsylvania last, I pitched. Oh, when you were in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh, I'm sorry, the Pride, I'm sorry. I meant the Pride. Oh, in yeah. Florida. Yes. Did, did, um, a lot of hometown fans? Um, a few. And this year, actually, my college coach is the head coach for the Pride. So now that makes that a little different. Oh, too. so how's that going to be? Good. I've enjoyed having her here the past couple days. And then we played in Michigan just because. She's one of my favorite people. I respect her so much, and she knows a ton about the game, so it's always nice to go back to her and talk to her about the games. And it's also you get into coaching? I mean, when you're yeah. going after a long career. Yeah, I do plan on it. I'm actually going to be the graduate assistant for Oklahoma softball in the fall and spring, so that'll kind of help me get into it. Awesome, awesome. Well, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you, you uh, winning some games for us, and we hope you have a great second half. Thank you. Thank you very much.